Good morning, brothers and sisters. Jim Beck with reporting here at End Times Prophecy News. I hope you're having a good day and all is well at your house. I have some breaking great news. It's happening. Joe G. D. Genova. John Brennan will need five attorneys. Report on James Comey is coming out in two weeks. Criminal referrals. The redactions are coming out. It's time to fight back. The swamp is being drained. I got some great news. Other news besides this. So stay tuned. Former U.S. Attorney Joe DiGenova joined former Governor Mike Huckabee and Trump Attorney Rudy Giuliani Wednesday night on the Ingram Angle. DiGenova told a panel a solo report on James Comey coming out in about two weeks. DiGenova says the report will contain criminal referrals. D. Genova also said the only hero in all of the cabal is Admiral Mike Rogers, who not only slipped into the Trump Tower after the election and told the Trump the truth, but he'd gone to the FISA court and told them who the culprits were and to stop the madness. According to D. Genova, the FISA court has already turned the information over to Attorney General Bill Barr. And Bill Barr has done everything right so far. He is amazing. I'm telling you. This is pretty simple stuff for career prosecutors like Rudy and myself. It has been evident since one day one that there has been a brazen plot to exonerate Hillary Clinton illegally. And then if she lost the election to frame Donald Trump, this dossier was a knowing part of that. It was created by Hillary Clinton. It was created knowingly by John Brennan as part of the scheme to do everything they could to harm Donald Trump. The problem for Brennan and Clapper and Comey and Baker and all of them now is the FISA court has already communicated with the Justice Department about its findings. Now, why? Well, because the FISA court was blamed for putting out those spying uh, details, okay? So the FISA court doesn't want to be blamed and the judges don't want to be blamed for the false evidence that came from the Department of Justice and FBI. You see? Here we go. We're see we're unveiling it. It's all starting to come out now because people don't want to go to prison for being lied to. And their findings are that for more than four years before the election of Donald Trump, there was an illegal spying operation going on by FBI contractors, four of them to steal information on Americans and to use it against the Republican Party which is a violation of the Fourth Amendment, of course, right to privacy. There are going to be indictments. There are going to be grand juries. John Brennan is not going to need one lawyer. He's going to need five. As if that was not enough red meat, D. Genova then dropped this bomb. The Horowitz report is coming out in May or early June. There's another report that everyone has forgotten about involving James Comey alone. That will be out in two weeks. That report is going to be a bombshell. It is going to open up the investigation on a very high note, and there are going to be criminal referrals in it. These bold statements will make or break Joe D. Genova. We will see in two weeks. Isn't that fantastic, folks? And you can play the video here. Those are the exact words he says. Uh, Trump confirms to Hannity he will declassify Carter Page FISA docs. Everything is going to be declassified and much more. The Trump hammer of justice is coming to America. And the Dems are going to cry and be indicted and be put in prison. President Trump spoke to Fox News host Sean Hannity Thursday evening about the ongoing Spygate scandal. Sean Hannity asked President Trump if he would declassify the Carter Page FISA docs and other pertinent Russia records related to Spygate. The president promptly responded, yes. Yes, everything is going to be declassified and much more than when what you just mentioned. It will all be declassified. Trump said there's a time for everything ecclesiastes i try to tell you trump was waiting trump was waiting for the investigation to be over there's a time 
Adding, I am glad I waited because I thought that maybe they would obstruct if I, I did it early and I think I was right. So I'm glad I waited and now the Attorney General can take a very strong look at whatever it is. Well, not only that, but he needed Attorney General Bill Barr, didn't he? Trump continued, it will be declassified in more than what you just mentioned. Oh, this, this is 44 minutes long, so we can't play that, but... According to investigative reporter James Rosen, the President Trump is planning on declassifying the documents around the same time Inspector General Michael Horowitz releases his report on FISA abuses. Horowitz is reportedly drafting his final report, which is due to be made public within about six weeks. Rewind. In September 2018, President Trump issued an immediate declassification order of Carter Page, FISA docs, and all text messages relating to the Russia investigation without redaction of James Comey, Andrew McKay, Peter Strzok, Lisa Page, and Bruce Orr. A few days later, President Trump walked back his promise to be to declassify the docs. According to ranking member of the House Intel Committee, Devin Nunes, there is exculpatory evidence in the 20 redacted pages of Carter Page FISA docs. The first FISA warrant was issued on Carter Page in October 2016, just weeks before the election day. Obama's corrupt FBI and DOJ obtained a FISA warrant and three subsequent renewals on Carter Page. It is also important to note that Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein and Andrew McCabe signed the June 2017 FISA renewal one month after Rosenstein appointed Robert Mueller as special counsel to investigate Trump-Russia collusion. Hold on just a second. Trump hinted last Friday that a storm is coming when he tweeted, it is now finally time to turn the tables and bring justice to some very sick and dangerous people who have committed very serious crimes, perhaps even spying or treason. This should never happen again. Trump's timing is impeccable. He waited patiently until he had a real attorney general to declassify the FISA docs. Trump is right. If he declassified the docs while Rosenstein and Mueller were in charge of the Justice Department, they would have obstructed at every turn. Talk about the Dems shaking in their boots. Oh, I'm sure they are now. Let's uh, read chapter 6 of Hebrews. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on on to perfect perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God. Now, you notice that that Paul the Apostle who wrote the book of Hebrews is telling you not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works. You see what he's talking about there? Dead works. Well, because James chapter 2 already talked about. If I can find it down here. He already talked about. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? So we have dead works here, don't we? We have dead works and of faith toward God. You see, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works. You see, your works are dead that and dirty rags onto God, just like, just like Isaiah 64 verse 6 says. That's what he's talking about. Works before you had faith. Of the doctrine of baptisms, and of laying on of hands and of resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment. Now, notice again, therefore leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance. He's telling you don't do that. But of faith toward God. It doesn't say but, but that's what he means. <clears throat> and then it says of the doctrine of baptisms. Now, you go over here to Ephesians 4, and it says, One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Now, what do I teach? One baptism. Not the baptism of John. One. There was two baptisms. 
But you see, one is gone. The ministry was fulfilled when Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist. As Jesus said, I did a teaching on that. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Who's the Lord? Your Savior, Jesus Christ. It's not God the Father. When you read in the Old Testament where it says, Lord God, he is your Lord and he is God. Now, sometimes it means both the Father and the Son, okay? But whenever you see Lord, it says that is referring to the Son of God. Okay, let's continue. A lot of people don't know these things, so that's why I'm bringing them up. Uh-oh, my focus is messed up. So, uh, okay, so we continue here. So there is only one baptism, and of laying on of hands. Now, that is, see, this is the apostolic era of laying on of hands and of resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment. And this will we do if God permit. For it is impossible for those who were once, once again, you see, therefore leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on to perfection, not laying again the foundation. You notice it tells you not to do that. Again, we're saying the same thing, for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened. So in verse 4, he's telling you what is going to, it is impossible to do this in this one sentence. And where does this sentence end? It ends way down here. There is no period here at all. You notice that? I've already taught on this before. For it is impossible. So Paul's going to tell you what it is, what is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the the heavenly gift, and we're made partakers of the Holy Ghost. You can't be partakers of the Holy Ghost unless God is living in you because of your faith, right? You're saved. These are saved people. And have tasted the good word of God, the word of God that you trust in, Ephesians 1, 13, and the powers of the world to come, if they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of God afresh and put him to an open shame. So what does that mean? Well, he's talking about crucifying the Son of God afresh, right? And he's telling you it this is impossible. God only went once into the holy place to atone for your sin with his blood. He is the final high priest that Paul talks about in the book of Hebrews. Okay, so can you make him go back to the cross again? No, you can't, right? Now, why are you making him go back to the cross? Uh, Because you have fallen away from your salvation. You see, that's what they're telling you. That's what Paul is telling you right here. And this renewing again onto repentance. In other words, you're going to be saved again. You see? So this scripture right here is telling you about getting saved once again. You can't get saved twice. There's only once. Okay? So what he's telling you is since you can't get saved twice and you can't fall away from being saved that's that he's telling you that's e, you have eternal security in your salvation. That's what he's telling you. But there's only one thing that most teachers don't understand. Can you see the Holy Ghost living within any person? No. You see the works of God, Christ's workmanship working in you was done before the foundation of the world. Why? Because 2 Peter 3.8 tells us that a day with the Lord is as a thousand years. So that's telling you that God's time is not our time. So since it's not, our time is not his time. And he saw the end of the world and your end of your life. He's already seen the work of his hands in you before the foundation of the world. You see, God is the author of bending time. You see, 
that's what I'm trying to tell you his time is not our time so since that's true we know that we have eternal salvation because once he put his Holy Ghost in you that no one can see he, it's our <coughs> <clears throat> it's already been decided before the foundation of the earth that you are going to heaven or you are going to hell if you're a lost soul you see so there, it, there it's impossible to get saved twice once God made a decision to seal you with the Holy Spirit as Ephesians 1 13 and 14 says you're going to heaven this is your eternal security you can't get saved twice because you are crucifying God a second time on the cross. Impossible. Can't do it. You see? So this is your eternal security. Okay? Now, once again, though, your eternal security is based on your faith. Since you can't see the Holy Ghost, you must have a profession of faith. And you must have faith that it wrought with works. To produce perfect faith. Thank you for listening. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a very important announcement. Would you like to see most of your illnesses go away? Let me introduce you to the Water Smacker. A new modern breakthrough in science has come to knowledge ridding your body of many toxins through this state-of-the-art new technology. The testimonials are endless. People have been healed of shingles, pancreas survivor healed, colon cancer patient healed, your skin returns its oil back to itself and elasticity. Gray hair goes away. Look younger. Red blood cells return to being round. Plaque in your arteries is wiped out. Blood pressure is lowered. Feel stronger and have more energy. Return to a more youthful feeling and look. Pick up your water smacker today for only $350. And don't forget to mention Brother Jim sent you. The link is down below along with the website and other videos for a much longer description. Thank you.